In the previous video, we presented how to design a spool gear in MDesign Gearbox 2012. This time, we will show you how to create a planetary gear. We will not go into the individual calculations, but put emphasis on the construction, because the calculation steps are identical with the spool gear calculation. We start placing the planet carrier like a shaft section in the 3D gear designer. In the property menu, it is possible to change the number of planets. As default, there are three of them. Afterwards, we apply the sun shaft. Therefore, we dimension a shaft section and place it on the planet carrier. Like before, we add the sun. Now the planet shafts will be created. Thus, we place a single shaft and configure it. Also, we drop a gear wheel on it. We place the planet on the top arm of the carrier. The software projects it to the other ones on the carrier. This simplification allows us to quickly assemble a variety of planets. We use these effects for all elements mounted on the planetary shaft, such as bearings. What's missing is the ring gear. In this case, we want the ring gear is fixed. For this, we place the output drive with a speed of zero. Now we add the ring gear to the assembly. It is automatically placed to the right size and linked to the planets. We want to drive the planetary gear by the planet carrier and advance on the sun. Therefore, we add the force elements to on the respective shafts. As you see, we have created a complete planetary gear in short time. It's even easier by using the pre-built assembly from the elements tree and adapt it to your needs. We hope to have brought you closer to how a planetary gear in MDSign Gearbox 2012 can be created. Thank you for your attention.